Hey up guys, my name is Achano. We made a game. I want you to play it. So a couple of weekends ago was Dare 53 for those of you who don't know, ldjam.com. This is a, like a 48 to 72 hour game jam. You can make a game by yourself in 48 hours or with a team in three days. We as a studio have done three of these in the last like year and a half. And we've basically used them as an opportunity to test out Hazel, to use Hazel to actually make and ship games. And it's been quite a fun time. The first game we made was Forest, which was, we don't talk about that game. Then we made Dichotomy, which I thought was pretty cool. That was the last game that we made. It was like a puzzle game. You jump around and stuff. And this time around we made Saving Captain Chino. Um, uh, an interesting title to a game. The theme this time was Delivery, which personally I didn't really like too much. And so we made a game about delivering coffee in a war zone. And I threw in some like randomly generated hexagonal tiled worlds. The game is completely free, of course, to download and play. The link will be in the description below. It's on our itch.io page. I've patched it a little bit post-launch to add compatibility to some more GPU drivers and stuff. So hopefully, hopefully it'll work for you and not crash. Uh, and so I thought it would be fun. Um, yeah, you can see there's been some fixes. I thought it would be fun to just play it because I don't think the past two games that we've made, uh, Forest or Dichotomy, I have actually played. Like, as in in front of you guys. So I thought I'd make a video and play it, basically. That's what uh, that's what this video is. So let's hit download now. Um, let's download it. Okay, so once you download it and unzip it, you'll see these three files. The launcher is the thing we care about. Let's open that. Don't worry about this uh, when it's protected your PC, please. Uh, and here we have the launcher. So this launcher just lets you pick, like, all of your graphics settings. Um, we don't like, it was a bit of a chore to go through every resolution that your display supports and printed here. So we have this render scale instead. It's basically like your resolutions. If you don't want to, if you want to play it like in full screen, but you want to play it half res, you can just do like that. I mean, that'll be half res in each, uh, in width and height. But basically if you're really, really struggling with performance, drop this down. But otherwise I would just, uh, you know, by default, I think it'll be on the max settings, which is what this is. Um, so you might have to drop these depending on your system. Let's just hit play. All right. <laughs> so, uh, we have play game and controls, arrows and select. So controls will just kind of tell you what the controls are. I recommend you read this first. It's also in the readme if you want to kind of refer to that. Uh, we does actually support controllers as well. So if you have a controller, you can just plug that in at any point and play with a controller. Um, but I'll kind of guide you guys through the game anyway. So let's just go to play game and here we are. Okay. So the world, as I mentioned, is randomly generated. Um, and then there's uh, attention Captain Chino over there. So let's read it. The general has ordered a coffee and needs it stat. Press, press tab to open your compass. Here it is. So um, I, th I saw a few comments being like, which way do I go? Um, like, I don't know if you guys have seen compasses before, but like, I mean, you know, red is usually north. So I would assume you could go that way, but apparently that wasn't obvious. Um, so I'm sorry if I ruined your day, but, uh, press tab to open your compass, use it to navigate, pick up the general's coffee order from the coffee tent and bring it to him. Press enter to continue. Yes, it's dangerous, but we can't win this war without coffee. You'll have to protect the coffee at all costs. And if you spill it, well, just make sure you go back and get a fresh one for the general. Between you and me, he's a bit of a coffee nut. Or should I say bean? Ha. I wrote that. Make the delivery, Captain. We're, <laughs> we're counting on you. One of the jokes was like, Captain... Cappuccino, like that's why it's saving Captain Chino. Well, save, saving isn't like save, saving Private Ryan, obviously, but saving uh, Captain Chino, saving Cappuccino, you know, very funny. We're counting on you, assistant to the general. <laughs> and that, that's a bit of an office reference as well, assistant to the general. <laughs> um, <laughs> press enter to close. All right, cool. So uh, we basically follow this compass. You can't use it all the time, by the way. It has a cooldown. I hope this is recording uh, smoothly, by the way. I always do, I never trust OBS. Maybe I should switch it to game view. I'll try that actually, just in case. Okay, I've switched OBS to game view, so I don't know if it's gonna be any uh, better, but it is what it is. Okay, so yeah, we follow the compass, we get in here. Um, there's a gun here, so it says in the bottom left corner, grab assault rifle, and then we also have the coffee. So it doesn't really matter what order we grab them in. We grab them, now we have a gun with uh, a flashlight, which casts shadows as well, which is nice. Pretty cool. Um, <laughs> and then you can shoot with the left mouse button. I recommend you don't shoot immediately though, uh, because you have a finite amount of ammo that appears in the bottom left when you shoot. And uh, actually, if you run out of ammo at this stage in the game, you basically have to restart. Like there's nothing you can basically do uh, because you can't kill enemies without a gun and you can't get more ammo without killing enemies. So yeah, a bit of a loophole, but it is what it is. All right, so um, yeah, the world is randomly generated. 
Um, and uh, the where you have to go is also randomly generated. So sometimes you'll get really lucky and you'll just like the general's tent will be very close. Sometimes it will be very far. So you have to kind of be careful. And you can see I can't keep using my compass because it it uh, doesn't always open. So there's a bit of a cooldown. Okay, that was really easy. So there we go. I can basically <laughs> deliver the coffee <laughs> uh, by pressing Q and guess what? I just won. So let's play that again. Again, look at this randomly generated world. Maybe this will be harder this time. Um, the You can see the nice reflections from the water as well. They're just screen space reflections. So don't get too excited, but they do look quite nice. Um, there we go. You can see that mountain if you don't look down. <laughs> Uh, so let's get past these messages. Let's go to this tent again, which this is also in a randomly generated place. Um, so we'll pick up this stuff and let's see if this will be harder now. Uh, let's go this way. All right, so you can see those red lights off into the distance. They look like enemies. So this is basically how you fight enemies. Uh, you can right click and fire. Now, if you hold right click, you'll kind of zoom in a bit and you'll basically lock on to the target. So it's very like, uh, it's basically kind of like an aimbot. Uh, if you hit fire like this, you will not um, uh, obviously lock on to anyone. So you can kind of free fire like that as well. Uh, but if you right click, you'll kind of lock on to the nearest enemy that you're facing towards. And also time slows down. So you can see I'm jumping in like slow motion. So it's kind of a cool slow-mo effect as well. Uh, okay, let's pick up this gun. This is a sniper rifle, but I guess I'll pick it up. Yeah, unfortunately, if you pick up the gun, it like destroys the other gun which probably we should fix but yeah this gun should have a longer range but Ooh. um i want to quickly yeah so you can see it's getting a little bit overwhelming let me pick up this shotgun because that'll be easier so you can see it's kind of like with, with right click it's quite easy oh no i put down my coffee let's grab it again <laughs> Um, and then as you take damage as well, I'm probably doing a very bad job of explaining this, but you can see the coffee is actually spilling out. Like if you look at that at the moment, there's like about half left. Every time you get shot, you don't actually take damage. The coffee takes damage. So you really have to protect that coffee, which you can just put it down on the ground and fight enemies. That's a, that's a valid strategy. Another valid strategy is to basically like nothing is stopping you from like if you know the, ge the general's tent is in that direction. Uh, I think if you put the coffee down, it will guide you to the coffee, right? Let me just wait for my compass to come back. Yeah. So you can see it's guiding me to that coffee. Um, but if I pick it up, I can see like where I'm supposed to go as far as like the general's tent goes. So that way, right? Um, so what I could do is I could actually leave the coffee here or even just leave it at the coffee tent, not pick it up yet once I know where the general's tent is and just clear the way because what will happen is enemies only spawn when you like kind of uncover a new chunk because the way that the world generation works is like when you approach like a, the border of a chunk, it generates more chunks in the direction you're heading in and thus that has a chance to obviously spawn enemies, spawn enemies and the more enemies, the, the further you are from like, you know, the coffee tent, the more enemies will actually spawn. Um, so it gets kind of progressively harder. But uh, because they don't respawn in chunks you've already been to, as long as you don't explore, like, new places... Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, this is this is a disaster. I might actually lose. I did lose. My coffee's gone. Ugh. Oh, see? It does get hard. Okay. So, yeah, so what I could do is... I know it was roughly this way, I think. So what I could do is do a little bit of scouting. Because I can't die, right? Um, I could do a little bit of scouting here and just clear the way. I'm hoping, yeah, see the right click option is, uh, there should be an achievement, oh my gosh, look how many there are, there should be an option to, um, or like an achievement for beating this game without, let me try and hit fire, uh, I need to pick up, but see I can't actually, oh yeah, also that happens because of Peter physics, <laughs> um, yeah, see I can just mow them down with hip firing, so, but I was saying there should be an achievement to, to beat the game without, uh, you know, um, using the right click kind of firing mode because that's basically an aimbot. Um, but that being said, since you can't die, there's nothing, it'd be easy to get that achievement. I can't believe there's so many. So see, sometimes it will be really hard because what will happen is if the general's tent is, I got the shock on here. If the general's tent is, um, damn. If the general's tent is far away, then you're gonna get, like, wrecked. As you can see. 
All right, lots of guns, though. That's good. So what am I on here? I got a sniper. I don't want a sniper. I think, like, the shotgun's pretty good. The assault rifle does the least damage, but you can just kind of spray it, as I was doing. And so I think it's probably the one of the better, better things to use. I actually don't know if I'm heading in the right direction, though, by the way. And the world uh, is quite large. It's, like, 50 by 50 chunks, and each chunk is 16 by 16 tiles. Yeah, see, this is good, getting them onto a flat surface. If we had more time, I would have made the water swimmable, but we ran out of time. Loosely considering, like, just working on this game for fun outside of the jam. Because um, it is kind of fun. Uh, and maybe if it had more features, it would be even better. And I really like the hexagonal world, to be honest. Like, I think that's really cool. Um, I don't know. There's something about these hexagons that it's just a cool aesthetic. I really like it. Okay, I suppose we should run back. So we shouldn't in really encounter any enemies. Let me just maybe pick up a fresh assault rifle with more ammo. Um, that ammo counter in the bottom left, by the way, that only shows, like, it's limited to, like, 10 max bullets. So if you have more than that, it'll just cap it at 10. I think it's 10. Um, so uh, that's why, like, it'll only show you less if you actually have less. All right. There was sprinting initially, but we decided to cut that out because it was a bit too easy. Okay, so I can see that. See that light off into the distance? That's the um, that's the coffee tent. So we'll go back to the coffee tent. By the way, if you want to see, oh, there's two coffees here. That is interesting. Why are there two coffees? That must be a bug. Um, if you want to see the performance, Control F3. By the way, will show you. Stats, there's some in the top right corner, which you probably can't see because of the face cam, but maybe I'll show you briefly. And then the bottom right as well. So that's kind of uh, the performance. It's pretty much like fairly GPU limited because there's all these effects going on and we need to optimize our GPU rendering. All right. So I don't know how many enemies we'll encounter here, but I also don't know how far that general's tent is. It could be very far. <laughs> so let's see if we can make it. This is actually quite a long session, especially uh, if you compare that to the previous... Oh, no. Are gonna try and fight here because I don't want to die. Um, cause, yeah, because the, the first run was so quick. Oof. All right, here we go. So you can kind of aim without, and I guess they, I don't think they even fired at me because see that coffee looks very full. Oh, I found it. This is it. This is the general's tent. See, so the kind of clearing the way was good, but look how many there are now. I could probably just run in there, but I'm not going to risk it. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. What's that? Is that a shotgun? Luckily, yes. Oh, I barely... I didn't really spill any coffee. Oh, that was close. That felt a lot more dangerous than it was. Um, Alright, and I think that's it. This is the general. <laughs> so you basically walk up here into the tent, and then you press Q to drop, which is what the instructions said, and... Voila, you have won the game. I want to try one more time just to see what worlds we get. Because, yeah, you can see the snow as well. Um, this has been a nice... The random random generator has been nice to me because it's uh, showing me different worlds every time. But, um, yeah. You can see there's some snowy worlds. Uh, sometimes you can get, like, more flat. Like, this is pretty flat, as you can see. Um, and you can get more kind of hilly, mountainous worlds. And uh, But basically, there's only, like, four different tiles. There's snow, uh, grass sand and water and water is basically solid so yeah um but yeah that's the game i hope you guys will give it a go and that you enjoy playing it because it's just something we put together in three days nothing too fancy uh the whole thing was live streamed as well here on youtube so you can just i'll leave a link in the description below but the whole team so me tim and peter we all live streamed on youtube so you can see all of the vods and kind of see how this game came together over the three days and if you're interested in seeing some kind of like technical breakdown of how we put it together or it's behind the scenes or whatever maybe i can talk a bit about how hazel kind of i guess works with this game or whatever let me know in the comments below have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.